So we just left the Panorama Road, had delicious pancakes at Harry's Pancakes, and now headed to the Paul Kruger Gate. We're actually inside Kruger National Park. This is our bungalow that we checked into last night. Once we got into Kruger, Paul Kruger Gate, we registered and we actually had to pretty much run right away to our Sunset Drive. We had no time because the drive left at about 4.30. We had to, we registered at about like four-ish, had to get our stuff, got on the, the truck, and uh, it was, it was kind of cool, but it was a little different from the Elephant Plains. Uh, we got to see a lot of uh, cheetah, which I think was really cool. Oh, and buffaloes. Got to see buffalo, a big group of them, uh, as you will. Giraffe. We saw we saw two giraffe, I think, one crossing the road and one kind of drinking, which was the first time seeing that. Um, so all in all, it was it was a cool experience. A little again, a little different than what it was like at Elephant Plains. You're a little bit farther back, but if you're lucky, uh, you'll see them by the road. Um, so yeah, we got back here and we checked into our room our first time. We're room number 95, one of the bungalows by the river, which has a gorgeous view. And we bring our luggage in, and this is kind of in the dark at this point. Uh, we get in the room, which you see right behind us, and I was just putting my luggage down, and then I saw over here a giant cockroach. <gasps> Uh, I think I made the mistake of telling Chantal here. It was about it was about this big, so so pretty, pretty large, pretty large, and uh, she totally freaked out. Yes. I, I inside I think I was pretty freaked out as well, um, and so we saw it scurrying along under under the bed and eventually kind of, into eventually into the washroom. Into the washroom, and we saw the guy go all the way inside here. This is the bathroom. Um, by that garbage bin, I guess, and then we never saw it again. So, I don't know, it, it was... I was trying to look for it with my headlamp, couldn't find it, because I was like, Will, you need to make it disappear. <laughs> we were on cockroach watch for a bit uh, to see if we could spot it, um, but to no avail. It was just, it was kind of gone, but I think it was hard, definitely, to both go into the bathroom and sleep at night. Basically, under the door, we just jammed it, hoping that the cockroach wouldn't come through. Otherwise, yes. other than the cockroach, this has been a really nice room. Yes. It's two single beds. It's, it's quite spacious. There's a TV, lots of outlets for plugs uh, to charge your stuff. There's an outdoor kitchen with a fridge and stove and all that stuff. And the bathroom's actually aside again from the cockroach. There's a full shower and a full bathroom and all that. We're ready to go. We're going to hit the road and try our first go at self-drive in Kruger Park. We don't know what we're gonna see, but hopefully we'll be as good or maybe a little less good than our ranger and driver, Mornay and Dion. So we just left, as we mentioned, and we drove out of the gate from Skakuza, and there were elephants right there. <laughs> that is amazing. This had to have been one of the most special moments of our time in Kruger. <sighs> and if that wasn't enough, the elephants put on a bit of a show for us. Just kind of making our own route to Chukwane, which is a bit northeast of where we are, Skakuza, and uh, we'll see what we find. We, we got to drive 50 kilometers an hour, that's the fastest we can go, so you kind of have to account for your time a bit. Um, it, it's going to take a lot longer to get where you want to go, and of course if you see anything along the way, you're going to want to stop. So it's about 10 o'clock right now, and this is really just a short pit stop. Uh, I don't think there are any lodges here, but uh, grab a cup of coffee and we're just eating some of the sandwiches that we bought at Skakuza. So we're hoping for more. I know it's probably not ideal because it's 10 o'clock, it's going to get hot, but we're just going to kind of do a loop and see what we can see, maybe around the water hole. And we sure did at some of these lookout points where we're able to get out of the car. Little does he know, dangerously close, prey, predator. And the surprises kept coming. Oh my 
do you just take over that tree and kick that other one out? It's true what they say about the afternoons, they're pretty uneventful. Our first afternoon here at Kruger National Park was pretty quiet. We didn't see a whole lot, uh, a lot of animals ducking for shade, a lot of elephants. So we're just he heading back to Skakuza, our camp, to get a bit of rest, to recharge, and then we're going to head back out after 4 p.m. For our first afternoon game drive, I don't know if it was just us not being able to spot things, but we only saw elephants, monkeys, and zebra. Check it out. Elephant to our right. One tusk elephant. Hey, we saw a lot of elephant and giraffe, but this morning was all about the hyena. I mean, you have an idea of what a hyena is from Lion King, but they're totally different. Um, the young guys were really fun to watch the play. They kind of just hang out on the road here, peeing everywhere, so they did smell, um, but this guy got some revenge. Click one little bit at a time. Yep, it's safe. It's safe, guys. And kids, that's how you cross a road. Now, we said it before, but one thing that we really loved about Kruger was the fact that it was a choose-your-adventure type of trip. You pick the roads that you want to take, and you see whatever your luck swings your way. After our morning game drive, we came back to Skakuza to return our keys because we were checking out. One thing that surprised us the most about coming to Kruger and one that we didn't expect was just how large these camps are. Skakuza being the largest of them is a mini city with everything from a bank to post office to gas station, which we definitely needed to use. And then there's a park shop and that alone was enough to blow us away with everything from snacks, alcohol, produce if you're gonna be cooking at all, beverages, pharmacy, camping gear if you need to pick up something last minute, toys, clothes, souvenirs. Honestly, there's literally everything. And if that wasn't enough, there's also Cattle Baron, which is a fancy restaurant. Quick tip, they do have Wi-Fi, and they also have a really awesome patio. It is 11.30, we're at Skakuza, absolutely famished. So we're gonna have some lunch, and then uh, we gotta move over to Lower Savvy today. We're here right now in Sakusa and I think we'll kind of follow this road here to a dirt road. Um, along here there's some watering hole and then we'll kind of creep back up and head towards Lower Savvy. Under the blazing sun, animals were either hiding or cooling off. And welcome to our Lower Savvy Bungalow. Wanted to show you a quick walkthrough, but this one was really no frills like the other one, not quite the Rondeville style, a little bit more modern with a full kitchen and barbecue. Oh, hey, and check out those above water hippos. That was a really cool thing to see. Time for one last activity. So the only thing that you will check out there, pictures and tickets. We're in the African bush right now. Being on the ground gives you a totally different experience of Kruger and you learn so much more. That is a hyena tracks. I say big male lion. There's two, second, two, third, and the fourth. And the third, third. Yeah. And here's another one. All right, I guess we're hiking where the lions are. By the midway point, we made it to the peak here and got a chance to rest and have some snacks. And then things got tense. We're tracking the buffalo. Buffaloes are notoriously territorial, and so we had to stop and wait for him to pass. Oh, yes, yes. Oh. And it's clean. Wow, very clever. The most gut-wrenching moment was probably when we saw the dead giraffe kill from the previous night. Our rangers got off to take a look, but there wasn't much they could do. Man, I have no idea how you're supposed to find this. From this to this. 
Seriously, for some things, you really need a ranger with you. Guys, we're standing on the deck of the Lower Sabi Mug and Bean, which is one of the main restaurants here at camp. And uh, sad to say that it is our last day at Kruger. We've had amazing four days, as you've been able to see with this vlog. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but back there, there's actually a hippo, a mom and her baby. Uh, it's just one of the sights you can see out here, and we've just been uh, amazed day to day with all the kind of the unexpected moments, which is probably the, the most special part about being here at Kruger. Oh, bye. It's quite the send off. Oh, he's turning around. Finding a shade. Bye. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and it's time to hit the road, six hours drive over to Joburg and then off to Cape Town.